Hello people, welcome back to Location Football today. We have made the trip to uh, Peterborough. Peterborough. The gates are shut and we're not allowed in, but we are here and we've called upon a Peterborough legend to be our travel guide. If I think about it, just for what happened, I mean, Peterborough, we played in the playoff final, Old Trafford. That is sort of the place uh, where it took me where I thought, yeah, this is, this is nice. You know, we, we went there, nice hotel before the game in Manchester. And then the whole atmosphere build up to the playoff final at Old Trafford was just something unbelievable, especially where where our gaffer was the son of the manager, you know, the Manchester United manager. He was like fate, you know? Yeah. And, uh, what it brought to the day, I think, just the perfect time. I'll never forget that. Club shops are absolutely brilliant. We've been to a few. Um, Ipswich Town. What did we get there? Perfume. Oh, no, we didn't buy the perfume. No, we didn't we buy the perfume. It. We tested out the perfume. Have a little spray, lovers. Do a little review. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, de parfum. You switched down. In Watford, you could buy a dog bowl, yeah. uh, but neither of us have a dog, so we didn't do that. We bought a little pendant. Lavers, what are we going to do in Peterborough's club shop? Okay, so we've given each other um, a £10 budget. Yep. You could call it a Peterborough United club shop haul. Yeah. That's what we're doing, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Basically, yeah. Right, let's get inside. Basically. What have you found? This is an early contender. What is that? Oh, yeah, brick sauce. I love it. That's half your budget gone though. I know. Five pound. Definitely worth it. Your favourite lovers, the flat cap. Always got to test the club flat caps. Still doesn't fit my head. Sorry, so. Del. <laughs> Sorry, Del. What do you guys think of the Peterborough away shirt? Me over budget. Ten pounds was the budget, Lavers. What have you got? Okay, so I did eventually go for the mini player 3D construction <laughs> toy. I mean, what player does that even look like? Um, well, it's not a Zaquani, I'll tell you that for <laughs> nothing. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to look lovely in your gift. And every day is Christmas Day on location football. I've bought you a Peterborough United. Oh, that's nice. Um, advent calendar. Is it gluten free? Wheat free? Uh, um, <laughs> No. Okay. I've gone for <laughs> oh, lovely. the Posh Shop football notepad, oh, three quid. Okay. Um, basically, it's paper shaped like a football. Yeah. So that will come in handy. Uh, I don't know what you'd be able to actually write on there. Uh, maybe some a few notes and that, but yeah. I thought that looked quite nice. And I was keeping in theme with our Watford pendant. Yeah. Um, and this is the Peterborough one. I like the tassels. Oh, yeah, okay. I think it'll nice. go well with our Watford one. Yeah. And it was seven pounds, so that made me oh, bang on 10 pounds. Okay. So I, I was one pound under, I didn't say, but yeah, I was one pound under. You couldn't afford the pen, could you? No, it was 150, <laughs> I know. <laughs> right, boom. Uh, in Peterborough to do, is, I did a lot of sort of cycling and stuff like that, but I'm not sure you usually have bikes down there, but I can get a <laughs> Yeah, Ferry Meadows, down there because there's a nice, you know, river going down there and it's, it's just good sightseeing. And there's also a nice little cafe there as well. So Ferry Meadows would be the place I sort of recommend for something to do. So we were just making our way over to Ferry Meadows yeah. for, what are you doing there? I'm just eating your present. Oh. It's tasty. All right, okay, no worries. <laughs> uh, we, we were making our way over to the uh, Ferry Meadows for our little bike ride, and we've stumbled across Peterborough United's training ground. Obviously we can't go inside due to COVID reasons, but nice little surprise, isn't it? It's beautiful, yeah. Chocolate any good? Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Ferry Meadows. I don't know what to expect. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's massive. It is a massive, ride. massive place. We are here yeah. for a Shall bike reveal? ride. Do a reveal of the oh. bikes in the car. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> yes, that's one. Um, I'll take that one. This has be my one. Oh, okay. Um, as you may have noticed about this bike, Pretty uh, it new. is a female's bike. Okay. Uh, due to the, the crowbar being on there. This is actually my nan's bike. Um, it's 20 years old and was only ever ridden twice. I would help. But... Yeah, no, you stay there, mate. You're all right. Well, that was actually <laughs> a lot easier than getting them in than I expected. <laughs> the bad boy. This is the bad boy. This is a track attack. How uncool do these bikes look? But thank you, Nan and Grandad. I'm very grateful. Uh, they're getting a lot of use. <laughs> Gabrielle Zakawani, we're coming for your bike ride, mate. It's a bit cold. Does your Nan watch the channel? 
Uh, she can't see, mate, she's blind. Oh. <laughs> Love you, Nan. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Bikes at the ready. Can you imagine Gabriel Zaquani? I can't. Just on his Nan's bike. I can't. On his Nan's bikes, right. riding round <laughs> Ferry Meadows. How's the, uh, how's Grandad's bike holding up? Yeah, she's going. She's going. <laughs> right, so I've got a little question for you, mate. Yeah. What's the best trip you've been on? Best trip? Holiday or like as a sporting event? Or? Either. Okay. I'll go, go holiday first. Um, so for like the last couple of years, I've basically only really gone to one place. <laughs> um, well, before I went traveling in Australia. Um, but every summer I went to Thailand. Oh. Yeah, because my uncle's got a bar there. Oh yeah, what kind yeah. of bar is it? Um, sports bar? Yeah, sports bar. It's probably Love as seedy as you'd think. <laughs> um, and he's probably as seedy as you'd think. <laughs> but you're not but as seedy as I think. I'm, I'm not, no. But yeah, I love it. It's a pretty cool country. That's where I learned to scuba dive and became, or went on the journey to become a yeah. scuba instructor. Did you always want to do scuba diving? Absolutely not, no. Really? Uh, yeah, no, not at all. I'm not a massive, like, I've got I'm a terrible swimmer. Like, not, that, <laughs> not that you need to, have to be able to swim to scuba dive, but um, yeah, not, I was never really like a water person, but but so glad I did it, yeah. yeah. What about yourself? So for me, I would say it was a random trip, um, actually. Um, and it's reminded me because of all the lakes that were going around. I went to uh, Slovenia yeah. last year with my girlfriend. It was like a little city break. Yeah, it's beautiful, mate. It's one of those places that like not many people have been to, like Ljubljana. And then we went to uh, Lake Bled and it's got the most beautiful lake. And what you do is you, uh, you get in a rowing boat and you row to the middle and there's like a church with a bell on it and you ring the bell and it's like it's awesome it's awesome i've got some pictures so i'll show you them now um of, of lake uh, lake bled which is absolutely stunning i can see why gabriel zakwani wanted to uh get on his bike <laughs> and come to up, yeah. ferry meadows because this is beautiful yeah stunning what do you like riding bikes you're any good um no i'm a bit clumsy <laughs> i'm the guy that always just falls over just walking Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. What a no. lovely surprise this oh, is. Yeah, because I was just saying, like, this is exactly the reason why we started Location Football, yeah. I think. Like, and I don't think the people of Peterborough will, will be offended if I say this, but no one's going, I want to come to Peterborough on a Monday night or any other no. day of the week, you know. But look at this. Like, this is beautiful. In a time Absolutely where we beautiful. can't really travel anywhere outside of our own country. Yeah. Uh, we should probably look at like the towns and other random little places we can go to because yeah this is absolutely the thing stunning. is the people of peterborough will know about this place yeah gabriel zaquani does gabriel zaquani has he's uh cycled around the whole Many thing times, and, and sure. uh and i'm taking him why. ages yeah, yeah. i understand why because it's absolutely beautiful and people i've been to peterborough a couple yeah. of times through work you'd never think it was never like knew it. this was here yeah. i've been to the town center i've been to the football club uh, training ground but I never knew this was here and it's only an hour and 20 minutes away from where I live like, yeah and no yeah but it's not even I should get out more and do more stuff it's not even actually. like a small little area this yeah. is massive yeah. like this is just one lake that we've seen out of so many so, so good. Gabby so good. thank you very much for the recommendation uh, me, if you've got anything like this on your doorstep in your city yeah. in your town please do comment below let us know and we will come and we will experience Absolutely. what it's like because like Lava said at the minute no one can go anywhere football wise you can't go to games but this is brilliant yeah this is great to get outdoors get cycling and just go out and enjoy yourself cross is the place to go and it's got three as well for the football so you can get on it while you're watching the football cheers mate cheers. here we go right price check time price check time okay i think this might be our best one yet kettles yeah 690 690 yeah. Yeah. Soda water. Soda. Lime. Soda. Cider for you, yeah. six pound ninety. Wow. Uh, what do you make of cross keys so far? Mm -hmm. yeah, a little pool table, got the football on, on the big screen in the background. Everything you want from a little sports pub. Gabby has played for nine clubs as well as representing his country, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which means he's played in a lot of dressing rooms. So I asked him who had the best banter. There's been a mixture. I mean Peterborough had great banter. Uh, but I mean, when I was at Gillingham, the banter was, um, you know, it was just past the line sometimes, you know, <laughs> it, it was, so it was, uh, it was very, very, very good. And you've got to, you've got to be a bit 
ruthless to be involved in that van. I mean, it was like, you know, your car can go missing at any time. You'd find things in your car. Someone would hide in your car as you're driving. They're scaring you. So it was, it was, it was Did you do any ridiculous. of the scaring? Were you involved? <laughs> no, because a lot of people expected me to be involved. So I've sort of egged other people to do it. And then I was there with a the camera recording. <laughs> The Cuckoo restaurant is sort of a, you get, get roast dinner there, it's proper. So that's the place I would recommend, the Cuckoo. You look like you're in deep thought, what are you going yeah. for? There's a lot to choose from. I'm gonna go start today. I'm gonna get the mushrooms to start. Yeah. Are you going for a starter? Yeah, I will be, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna get the special uh, burger. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure how special it is, but I'm getting it, it's on special, so yeah. <laughs> Can I get some garlic and cheese mushrooms on the side? Is yeah, that? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. The garlic should be fine. I've gone for the prawn and mango cocktail, Nicholas. Beautiful. Um, so that should be good. And I've gone for the gammon steak with garlic mushrooms on the side. So that comes with triple cooked chips oh. as well. So. I am very hungry. What a day. What a day. Love Peter, bro. So not only have you eaten <laughs> half of my uh, advent calendar, you've also half. unpacked the player Lego. I've got the attention span of a three-year-old. It's got 82 pieces. Um, probably got about 15 minutes till dinner comes. So um, go for it. Yeah, let's, let's see how we get on. Right, that's it for the day. We have finished our trip in Peterborough. What you got there? Oh, you've got the little man. <laughs> you've got the little man that you started building at <laughs> dinner. We bought that from the Peterborough Club shop yeah. and then we made our way over to Ferry Meadows for a lovely bike ride around the lakes. That was absolutely beautiful. Then we went for a quick drink over to Cross Keys and a little game of pool where I absolutely annihilated lovers. And then we finished up at the Cuckoo where we ate basically half of their stock because uh, so good. that was so good. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> lovely. We've had a lovely day in Peterborough. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, which you haven't, because there's a lot of people watching and not subscribed, please do subscribe. We absolutely love these videos and we'll see you next time. He's eating all the advent calendar. Oh no, there's a spare one in it. Oh, yes. Last one. Last one? Yeah. Didn't even offer it up. Oh, you wanna? No.